Hello YouTube, this is a quick tutorial on how to use the metronome or click track feature within Logic Pro X. So, towards the top of the window, you'll see the little taskbar, and you can choose some different options here, beats and project, beats and time, time, custom, etc, etc. So, the main thing you want to do for uh, the metronome, click track, etc, is uh, you've got the BPM, which you can adjust by the hundreds, by the tens or by the individual digits so you just click and drag each number then you can change the key signature and the time signature which is what changes the metronome and then on the right hand side at the top you have these two purple buttons here okay so there's the count in so if you're about to record guitar parts or vocal parts it's good to have a count in so you know when you're going to start recording and then you actually have the metronome on and off button and then you can adjust this further by going up to record in the taskbar and then clicking metronome settings so then you have these options simple mode click while recording polyphonic clicks bar beat and division so you can change the sound of the clicks you can also change the tonality and the volume of the clicks. The volume might need to be higher if you're recording rock music or heavy metal or anything like that. Um, and then you can change the output depending on whether you're using uh, monitors or bus channels etc etc. So that's the basic overview of the metronome in Logic Pro X. I hope this has helped. Um, I'll be making more tutorials soon. If you have any questions or specific topics you'd like me to cover please leave a comment below. Thank you.